Well, came out like shit, to be honest. Um, it looks a lot better than it did, but besides massive amounts of drips, which I don't know what I'm going to do. I gather I'm just going to fucking sand them out tomorrow and then respray it. Um, I think I realized the problem. I mean, besides being 40 degrees, well, that is the problem. Problem is, it's too cold. It looks so much better than when I first laid it on. It was like separating, but it was really too thick. Um, so the end result is the guy tells me in the store. Now, like people who sell paints are probably a lot like the guy who uh, sells you auto parts. They don't really know how to fix cars. This guy, he might have tried painting cars. He really likes it, but he really doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. And this is why he sells it. So, I mean, it looks shiny and everything, but, um, like, you can see here, the lines, I put so much paint, there's, like, a drip mark all the way on the bottom and on the very bottom. However, I don't quite see the streaks. It's like I put so much paint that it just rolled off, and I only see the drip at the bottom. So I'm going to try to cut that off and sand it underneath, and uh, sand out all these, um, I got more drips over here, I didn't realize rolled off. You know, and of course, on this quarter panel, there's just so many contours to this that if you don't spray it right, there's a huge problem, you know. Um, like I said, when it dries, it should look a lot better, but I'm going to sand the shit out of this and spray it again. Uh, I have enough paint to do that. Um, I think it's going to look okay when I'm done, but I'm a little upset. But basically, going back to what I was saying... The guy who sells you paint, he told me to cut it with 5% thinner because it's cold. And the more I thought about it when I was doing it, I says, you know what? 5%, you know, I mix 5% properly. 5% is like an ounce when you're mixing, you know, 25 ounces, you know, altogether, or 24 ounces at a time. You know, if you're doing 100 ounces and it's 5%, that's 5 ounces. So... It's basically one and a quarter ounce per 25 ounces. It needed a lot more than that. The last coat really straightened things out in comparison because I put so much more thinner on it. But by that time, it's so thick already that I'm hoping it even is dry by tomorrow. <laughs> so I'm, I'm hoping it um, uh, will be sandable uh, and not cakey or else I got to let more time to let it dry. And, you know, it's, it's a movie car. That's the end result. It's going to be okay. It's not what I wanted. All this fucking work to have it come out like shit or what I would consider shit. And this is why the guys who don't know how to paint, paint single stage paints. Because they're easier. Uh, I'm pretty confident of that. The base coat plus uh, clear coat comes out really good when you know what you're doing. As you can see, this is probably the job you would pay for, and you wouldn't want to pay for something like this. So, um, I'm hoping it evens out overnight. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. It's uh, going to take some more work and some more sanding. So, uh, not happy. Not happy at all. And basically, it was my ability to not recognize what was going on. It was like shooting off in beads, and when I put a lot, it went on like glass. And I was like, oh, wow, okay, I just need more paint. And when I sprayed it, fucking thing, all of a sudden I see all this paint dripping. I'm like, oh, my God, that was way too much paint. So um, I don't know how that's going to be. Um, in, in the end, uh, it's a learning experience. Would I do it again? If I can get somebody to help me tape <laughs> and prep. But um, it's... This is not for the faint of heart. I mean, I'm, I'm able to take the fumes, no problem. This is nothing compared to car shit, you know. Uh, I got a fan up there that's going on, so that helps. Um, I turned the heat off because I'm going to leave. There's no sense right now. Uh, short day today, basically. It took me a while to prep more, more shit today, but hopefully this will be sandable by tomorrow. And I'll be able to touch it, touch it up. I'm, I'm really going to have to sand the whole car all over again. Because it just needs it. And um, I'm hoping I can just do it with like a scotch bright pad. And hopefully I'll get it to scuff out. And, um, you know, I'll, obviously I'll sand the parts that are drips. And hopefully I don't get to the paint because I have no more paint. So, oh well. You know, shit happens and uh, it happens to me. But, you know, I'm learning. Oh well.